Today I'm going to be reviewing the Black & Decker Dustbuster Pivot Handheld Vacuum. It's got a flexible head to clean those really tricky areas and a large capacity. The pivot is self-explanatory. Its head rotates so you can clean the top of cabinets, under sofas, and any other rogue areas you wouldn't usually be able to reach. And it folds back into the body too for easy storage. While it doesn't have any detachable tools, it does have a built-in extendable nozzle that functions as a crevice tool for narrow and hard to reach areas, as well as a dusting brush to whisk away any tiny particles. It doesn't have anything designed for pet hair though. Its capacity is solid at 0.44 litres, four times as much as the Shark 1 Vax. This means you can clean loads more before needing to empty the chamber. It doesn't have an automatic release button to empty the dust chamber. You have to manually unclick it and topple the rubbish into the bin, which could cause a mess if you aren't careful. It's not got the longest runtime at 10 minutes and it takes four hours to charge on its dock. It doesn't come with a replacement battery either. So if the one you have dies outside of the two year warranty period, it's time for a new vac. Our first test is how well this Black & Decker can clean a handful of rice from this carpet in three sweeps. As you can see, it's excellent at cleaning rice and none of the grains blew away either. Let's compare this to a poor picker-upper like the Beldre Revo, which pushes more grains away than it sucks up. Now, what about Cheerios on this hard floor in three sweeps? You can see that it picked up all the cereal in a couple of sweeps as smooth as ever. But it's not all plain sailing as when you tip the nozzle downwards, some of the Cheerios sadly fall out. A better model which will hold the larger piece of debris and pick up more in general is the Dyson V7 Trigger. Without a motorized tool to help pick up stubborn hair, I don't have high hopes for this pivot with pet hair on carpet. I'm no fortune teller, but as expected, the pivot has only managed to clean up the looser hairs and large clumps, whereas it struggled to pick up more deeply embedded hairs. A much better pet hair cleaner is the GTEC MK2 K9 with a powerful motorized head with bristles. Let's extend the crevice tool and see how well it cleans biscuit crumbs from this sofa in three sweeps. It isn't the longest tool in the world, but it does a fab job of collecting these crumbs. If you want a longer crevice tool to deep dive into the sofa, the GTEC crevice attachment will do the trick. The pivot is great at hitting those tricky areas in your house that were previously a pain to clean. It packs strong suction and will clean a range of messes well, plus crevices. And you won't have to empty it often given its large capacity. That said, it doesn't last long. 10 minutes of runtime is one of the lowest of the handheld vacs I've reviewed, especially compared to the Dyson V7's 30 minutes. It's poor on pet's hair too, only picking up the loosest strands since it lacks a motorized tool. The pivot will swivel to clean the top of the refrigerator and under units. I used it more for cleaning under the sofa and picked up a load of dust the other day. If you've got a dog, this model will let you down, unless you have a hairless dog. For more information and to start comparing the best handheld vac for you, your house or your furry little friend, visit finder.com by clicking this link here. If you enjoyed this video, like, subscribe and be sure to hit that bell button to be the first to know when a new video drops. Thank you for watching.